Carol, uh, here at the World Championships. Uh, let's talk about your performance. You know, you didn't come away with the medal, obviously, but you know, a good experience for you. You got you know, quite a few good high-level matches. And what do you take away from this trip? Uh, I take a lot of stuff away from it, just especially getting uh, get those. Just getting that experience overall, wrestling the best guys, especially like Masamui from Iran, probably the best upcoming heavyweight in the world um, on both levels, senior level as well. Uh, just getting his feel, but there's a lot of things to take away positionally. Open up, just getting that world level experience and um, time to go back to the room and get a lot better. So. Yeah, what did you feel? I mean, like you said, he's one of the, the best guys doing it at this age group. Um, I didn't stick really to our game plan. Uh, I shot like five shots in the, in the beginning, which I shouldn't have. Uh, I know he underhooks a lot. That's his go-to, and he picks people up. And um, I was letting him get into the underhook and jack me up, which is game plan not to do that, which I've been working on since uh, January, since I met the uh, OSU staff. And uh, basically, 20, 20 Vision, uh, that was the guy to beat. So, um, you know, hypothetically, you know, make the junior world team all this. In January, when I was talking to them, I've been studying this guy since 4 a.m. in the morning um, with coaches, and uh, to get out there and not sit to the game plan is um, bad on my part. Yeah. Uh, you know, you've, you've made some leaps, I think, over the past year. You were, you've done this before, right, on the Greco side. But, yeah. Um, where have you seen your freestyle game elevated? Um, really just being crafty, especially uh, not when I'm 100% uh, there mentally. Um, gas myself out a little bit, because I know how I am in the room. I think everyone else, I wish you know how, how I wrestle in the room. I have a big arsenal. I haven't shown it to the world yet. Just getting over those mental humps. And uh, my gas tank's really good. I just need to prove it and, like I said, get over those mental humps. So. Yeah. Uh, do you have any big takeaways from this event? Going through the experience again for, for another time, being on this team that has a bunch of killers on it Yeah, 100%. Um, I think taking away uh, how to prep going into this tournament. Not necessarily prepping leading up, but when I'm at the tournament, um, what to do, how to warm up a little bit better. Uh, bunch of things I could have done technically, but um, sticking with the game plan, just getting after it, letting it rip. I got nothing to lose. Um, you know, I say that in the, my, my mind, but I got to truly believe it. But then a day I need to uh, put my focus into God more and um, let him guide me more. Uh, if I fear him, I have nobody else to fear. So. Talk to me about uh, Oklahoma State. That's, you know, going in now as a, as a freshman. Um, you've probably had some time in the room a little bit at this yeah. point. But what are your thoughts? Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be good. We're going to be good. Um, that's for sure. The bad boys are coming back. Like we proved at the World Trials, and um, I will be 100%. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, we got a bunch of leaders. I got the guy I live with, Troy Spratley, guys like him, Kelly Hughes, Brandon Thompson. Um, I mean, this 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 young buck team coming in is, is uh, we're turning the program around. I think the culture has completely changed. I think um, since I've been there with uh, these young bucks rolling in, like me, uh, Kale, Braden, um, Troy, but also, uh, you know, senior leaders like Dustin Plott, um, Luke Serber, uh, our head, Connor Doucette, people like that are also carrying the team. And I think the bonding is the most important thing. Um, I mean, the seniors are hanging out with freshmen. We hang out all together at least once a week on the team. I mean, we have team Bible studies. I mean, I think we're the closest team in NCAA. So building a culture like that, we're definitely bound to win. Do you feel like you're able to, to be a leader in that type of environment, even though you are you know, young? Um, yeah, I think uh, there's a certain time and place, but I think, yeah, there's, there's I got nothing to lose going there, try to lead as best I can um, in the position I am. Uh, I know there's uh, servitude, I have to be a servant first, um, but also a lead at the same time. So I think there's a little bit of give and take. Talk to me about Team USA. Wearing that USA across your chest, opportunity to do that. You know, what does it mean to you to, to represent? Uh, I get to do what a lot of people don't get to do. You know, it's a once in a lifetime thing. Get to represent uh, my country. You know, uh, people always ask, "What can you do for a country?" But what can I do for my country? Or sorry, what can your country do for you? But um, what can you do for your country? So uh, I think that's the most important thing. You know, especially in the country like U United States of America, the greatest country in the world, the powerhouse in the world, the greatest military in the world. Um, there's no exception except gold. So, so what I like about you right now is I'm seeing a smile across your face. You know, it seems like you really enjoy this thing that you're doing. Do you, do you just love wrestling? What is it about? Um, yeah, 100% of the sport. Um, I'm just glad I have this opportunity and uh, let. Uh, for God to let me even be here, um, you know, there's a lot of people that can't even walk, can't even talk. You know, I got two limbs, I got four, sorry, two arms, two legs, four, I can, yeah. <laughs> I got four. Uh, I can run, I can jump, um, I can speak, so there's nothing said to be 
even though I lost, um, there's nothing to be said about. So. Awesome. Uh, anything else you want to say? Anyone you want to give a shout out to? Um, shout out to the OSU staff, my coaches, Chris Perry, Troy Spratley, um, Brian Thompson, Kel Hees, all those guys uh, that have my back during this process. Everyone back at home in Indiana, uh, my father. My father uh, has been de developing me since um, I was a little kid and uh, both aspects of life, you know, on the mental side, uh, the life side, the wrestling aspect. So um, I, I give a lot of thanks to my father to be here because I definitely would not be here without my father and his guidance. And uh, all glory to God.